Hey guys. Hey, do y'all mind if we do something a little bit different here at the Slow Shed today? Just a little different. Bear with me. This is a little project I'm messing with here. Uh, many of you know I have chickens. Chickens. And I want to make me a uh, automatic door that I can control either from a timer or my phone. So I've ordered this smart relay here. Ordered that with a little power supply and this linear actuator. And uh, I'm gonna go through how I've hooked this up. There's, a, there's one or two videos that I've noticed about this and they kind of show you but uh they don't get really into detail so i'll show you exactly how this is hooked up i'll send you the link or or post the link to this and uh just kind of get in depth because this is really neat uh if you want to control a gate maybe at your barn or a gate at your house or or at your garage or whatever you have something you want to control with the actuator or with you know anything else that you can control with the relay you can do it with this right here this is pretty neat uh, this is a two channel relay and I think this is a 10 inch linear actuator and I'm gonna make me a chicken door I'm gonna mount this and we'll see if we can control it from my phone so Y'all hang out with me for a while. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, <clears throat> my battery's about to hit a dead. Let's see if we can get through this. I'm going to show you how I wire this, which is going to be most people's question, I guess. First of all, this is your uh, power supply. This is a... Uh, let me get it right here. And I'll, like I say, I'll put the links to this. This is a 12 volt, 12 volt, 5 amp. I think for this controller, you have to have at least a 1 amp. You need a 12 volt. You can vary on your amperage. Well, I think you can go down as low as a 9 volt, maybe up to 17. But I got a 12 volt, and this is a 5 amp. output 12 volt by amp. okay and this one came with this little adapter here that you can put some wires in I'm gonna change these connections but this is a mock-up I just want to show you so I came out of this with a red and a black and it goes into here well it goes out. I got these pigtails here. You see, I go out here with my red, out to here with my black. Then I come out of this black, into here, out of the red, into here, and it don't matter which way you hook this up either way. But uh, this actually powers this circuit. Then coming out of the circuit, out th out of the relays here. Uh, my to control the actuator the actuator actually is coming out of the two centers let's flip this around I'm getting in here tight the two center ones are your common so the two commons come out here and go into the linear actuator and then you loop these here you have a NC and I think this is on. NC is normally closed. Uh, that's on or open, I assume. But you can see you loop you loop the does it say on? Yeah. You loop the NC's together. That's my blue. You loop these on together with the white. And then your power from these pigtails 
You have a, a red comes in here, NC normal close. A black comes in here, same same contact right here to the open. And these is what's powering your relay. And then this is your, gonna be your control for your relays. That controls this relay. And this controls this one. And what that's doing is, all that's doing is changing the polarity here from negative to positive on each one. So what, this may be positive initially, it'll be negative. And that's how you get your actuator to go in and out. So, like I say, control with this, that'll be out, that'll be in. This thing will do, I have a guy to all this will do. This is your mode switch. You can change the modes and I'll read up on that and maybe put that into the video or we'll come back and do another video on that. But uh, when you pair this thing, you pair it with a center one. You hold it down. When I came out, when I powered this up, you can power it up without any of this on any of this coming out of this side. You can power it up and uh, then you power it to your internet and you can see if you can actuate these relays right here. You don't have to have any of this hooked up to make sure this will power to your internet and work your relays. That's by the phone and by the app. When you power it, you make sure that you power it to the 2.4 gigahertz. So I know it's a lot, but you know, a lot of you already did that, so it's maybe a review, but I was just kind of showing you what I did. I just made me a box, framed this out, and I extended my arm all the way out and measured, got my length, and then I made the box according to this length. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it pretty much bottom all the way out. Then my door will be from here down. So, so we got, I put me a piece in here. I kind of cut it out to match this, to support this. And, uh, I mean, got it. It's all the way out. Now I just got to fix me a door, and then I'll just cover this top part, both sides. That'll kind of take this in the air from the weather. You know, I kind of just do everything on the fly. I don't really. Pretty much everything I do is kind of on the fly. So, that's why a lot of times I have to back up and reduce so much stuff. This is just a little bit too long. Instead of unscrewing this and cut these two side pieces off, I'm just going to take my grinder and grind it down a little bit. I had to cut the back of this off some more because it was actually hitting. Uh, I'll show you here. It was hitting when it came all the way back. It was actually bottoming out on this actuator. Uh, but they, they're the ones that came with the actuator. 
you'd think they would have one that was short that wouldn't bottom out on this if it hit its limit. So anyhow, uh, this is what I got for now. And, uh, you know. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with something. And I may put a little rail guide on the sides. And then the top, all this will be covered uh, down to, I guess, where the extension is. See, that stops right at the bottom. I just wanted that uh, in case, you can put a limit switch probably on this. Uh, and I think this app that I'm going to use, you can actually program the extension. Maybe, I'm not sure. But I'm going to cover the red says from, from here up. And uh, I'll fill this gap to where when it's closed, nothing can get up in there. Okay, little door, and I'm going to put it back on here, facing on this, and I'm actually going to put a little guide rail, see that's a little, it's a little flimsy, but I'm going to put a guide rail at least on the back. It's not going to matter much because it's going to be vertical. Well, I ain't raise it up yet because I got all my wires over here. But it's going to be vertical. But it's still on the back. I'm going to put me a little guide rail down through here. Let me see what I've got to do that. So put me some strips of wood back here. Kind of give it a little bit of support. Something pushes back. And then, like I say, this will be covered. And I don't have much of a gap here. So, that will work. Cover from there back. And I'm going to put, maybe I might paint this white or something because I have a camera on my garage that overlooks the coop. And if I want to open it from my phone, say in the afternoons, I can look at the camera and make sure this is open. And also make sure it closes at night. So I'm going to finish this and then we'll put it on the coop here in the next day or two. So this is what I've got right here. And I'll just cut out a section of my hard rock cloth in my coop and I'll I can whatever I cut out I'll face them back to this probably paint this to protect it a little bit the plywood uh, and yeah so I'm not going to do I see I'm looking forward to this Yeah. So it's 250 pounds, I believe. I mean, it's just a place to jug, but I may put a uh, sensor right here in case something is in here. But primarily, it's just on close well after dark. So this is what I got. Got it put in here. Come on. Wires run up through there. Phone's going off. I got my box in here. Uh, 
me show you right here. I just kind of got my wires crammed up in there for now. But, yeah, I got my, my relay in here. My power's over here. Got to find me maybe a box, like a metal box, to put that power supply in. In case something was to happen. But really happy with this thing. And I really like this app. Uh, this is an app here. Tua Smart or, or something. Let's go back here. So I got to open. Wait. I can click open. And I have this set up on, this is on momentary time here. You can set your time to whatever you want. And I just have it set on 20 seconds. So this is, like I say, the app. And you see it says mine, the Wi-Fi signal is low and I'm, I'm a pretty good distance from my house, but I want to show you this too. Is that a timer? I can set the timer and say I want it to open at it's 4:10 here. Let's have it open at 4:11. Save, and hopefully when it hits 4:11, it says plus or minus 30 seconds. Hopefully when it hits 4:11, it'll open. And like I say, it, it does a momentary time, so it open. It's opening for 20 seconds, then it cuts off. This is plus or minus 30 seconds. So let's see here. Yeah, it's probably close to 30 seconds. So that's pretty neat. You can set these things up to open and close when you want to, or you can just do it manually. I'm gonna set my close uh, on a timer at probably about nine o'clock at night when I know it's good and dark and uh, so I use a close the coop around say 8.30 right now and then when daylight saving time changes I'll go back to like uh, 8 o'clock or 7.30. I need to clean my coop out it's a mess. So let's see if the chickens can figure out their very first day with their new door. This one take them a while I bet. Open up the app. Tells them I have low signal. They say, man, what in the world is that?
Yeah, it took him a while. 